Welcome to Health Time 3. Today we are going to talk about cells. Cells are the smallest basic part of an animal or plant that can work by itself. Cells are microscopic. This means that they are too small to be seen without a very powerful microscope. Now there are millions of cells in your body and every single part of you, your hair, your skin, your blood, are made up of different kinds of cells. Cells are the building blocks of life. Now cells are very complex structures. Just as your body has a skin, a brain and a stomach that help it function, so too do your cells. Here is an example of what cells look like. Now, as I said before, there are many different types of cell and cell can be different shapes. Some are circular, this one is rectangular. Remember I told you that cells have a skin? Here it is. The skin of a cell is called a membrane, and just like the skin that covers your body, the cell skin holds everything together and controls what goes in and out of the cell. The inside of the cell is filled with a jelly-like substance. This is called the cytoplasm. Did you know that water makes up about 60% of your total body weight? Of that water, only 8% is blood, 25% is in the spaces between the cells, and 67% is inside the cells, right here in the cytoplasm. Most of your body weight isn't in your bones or your muscles, but in these tiny jelly-filled cells. The cytoplasm supports the different structures that are inside the cell. The largest of these structures is the nucleus. The nucleus is the cell's brain or office. The nucleus contains all the genetic material that you received from your parents. This genetic material or DNA is stored on chromosomes. Every cell has 46 chromosomes and they are so small that you can only see them with the most powerful types of microscope. When you have children, you will pass on copies of half of your chromosomes and your spouse will pass on copies of half of theirs. Have you ever wondered where your body gets energy from? You don't just move around by magic. You need power or energy just like a car. Well, that energy is made inside the cells. It is made in your cells' power factories. These power factories give you the strength to do all of your day's activities. The parts of your body that need more energy, such as your leg muscles, have cells with more power factories. Well, for all of this energy, your cells need nutrition. And of course, they also need to get rid of these. They do this with tiny pipes called capillaries. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels. They carry food to the cells and carry waste away. If you were to line up all the blood vessels in one adult human body, they would stretch 62,000 miles. This is long enough to go around the earth more than twice. This is how complicated the human body is. Every organ, muscle and tissue in your body is made up of millions of these tiny cells, which themselves are made up of even smaller structures. And all of these things have to work together to keep you alive. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you again soon.